She got it partly right. They want to go to the beach, right? Mm. But now they're sad because they can't do that. Why? Yes? They dropped the nucleus to the beach. Oh, uh, well, the nuclear plant was near to the beach. So when it exploded, a lot of toxic chemicals and stuff for nuclear uh, waste or whatever that comes. There are a lot of uh, toxic uh, substances. Yeah, that seeps out uh, underground, and then it will then seep into the sea. So now, what happens? That <coughs> no, they themselves can't go into the sea. Yeah, they can't because they are afraid that it's contaminated, right? So that's what they're talking about. What else could happen? That they are afraid of, yes, and then you, ah, yes, give her the chance first. Uh, the toxic may cause, cause cancer. What else did they mention? Yes, I think it's on. Uh, uh, now, now Japan is designed to release uh, the nuclear waste. Yes, but what other things that they mention apart from cancer? But the thing is, they did not actually putting the waste into the sea. But it just, it's very difficult to prevent it from seeping underground. Because then once it gets to underground, then it gets to the underground water, which seeps into the sea anyway. You cannot really very prevent it very much. However, they are actually building a wall, stretching down under the ground to try to prevent this contamination from reaching the sea all around the place. Okay? They're doing that. So they don't intentionally, they're not intentionally doing that. It's just that it's very difficult to prevent. They're, to, they're doing everything they can to uh, minimize the repercussion and you know, what would happen to the surrounding. They're doing everything they can, but they say it would take like at least 80 years or something before they can get rid of this and the cost of cleaning up everything is huge. You know, I mean, you know, uh, from what I read. And so, of course, a lot of people are wondering whether it's worth it. But their nuclear plans actually allowed Japan to progress very quickly because the plants provided them with a lot of the electricity and the power that they need for their growth economic growth, all depending on electricity that they got from their nuclear plants. So that's how the country would, it was able to grow very quickly and it's now very advanced technologically. But it's all dependent on the electricity from these plants. So, you know, a lot of scientists and the people in Japan are like arguing about whether it is really worth it for the, all this growth. They are benefiting from this growth and advanced technology that Japan can produce, like the, tr the train, the fast trains. You can commute from one city to the other city very far away. It could take like days to reach, but now you can reach it in just one, two hours. You see? So their way of life are now very dependent the powers that they get from uh, nuclear power. However, is it worth it when there is a tsunami or they mention other things that could happen in the, in the song? Can you tell me some other phenomena that can happen that endangers 
nuclear plants in the song? Are you looking at the lyrics of the song? Or are you listening? Yes? For me, it's more because because of nuclear energy can produce a lot of electricity. Yeah. Right, so you are for nuclear plant, you said. That you would think that it is worth it? Yes. Mm, okay. Can you tell us? But then these things we're going to discuss, right? We're going to sum up your friends, three of you, will be talking about nuclear power. So that's what we will discuss more about the pros and cons of this. I hope you are prepared. Who, who are you? Who are those responsible for this topic? Huh? Ah, so hopefully you are prepared to give us the pros and cons and allow us to discuss more about this, okay? All right, so why don't we start our discussion?
Maui. That's what we're going to do. Because we need the plant, we need the fuel to put the uh, panels to generate electricity. So, we can't say anything about it. If we say something, we are afraid that they're going to put us in jail and nobody will see us anymore.
get influenced. So I thank him. I forgot to wear this. Okay, so now we're going to 
give you more information about renewable energy and solar power. And start your presentation. See, understand? Uh, not, anyway, please, for the next groups, please understand that the, the video group should, should not be sort of like very boring that people come, you have people talking, talking, giving a lot of information. Those information are the are information are the things that each of you should come out and tell us about it. See? Not in the video clip. That's not the purpose of showing the video clip, okay? Alright, please go ahead. Continue. Yes. 
So the, the term not renewable is misleading, isn't it? No, I mean, actually it's not renewable, but it's human lifespan. In the human lifespan. But then, you know, if you make a chart and say not renewable, it gives the people the wrong idea yeah. that uh, yeah. it's completely yeah. not renewable. Yeah, it's just a definition. Yes. Okay, please go on. Good, three points. So the first one, that in a fossil fuel is oil. Oil, or we know as petroleum, comes from the remains of tiny sea. Crude oil. This is crude oil. Right. Yes. And uh, as the layer increases, the heat and uh, pressure builds up. So the um, compound, I mean, the organic matter, broken down to be a compound that we call hydropower. Mm. Um, or it can be used to produce a lot of products. Uh, the most important products is gasoline that we use in fuel cars. Mm. And also diesel um, heating oils and, um, and jet fuel that we use in transportation. The next one is coal. coal um, comes from the remains of the plants that died for 100 to 400 million of years ago. But coal is not a good choice to be used <coughs> to be a an energy because coal um, has a high level of carbon, which is produced as greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. So it's not a good choice to be um, energy. Also, coal produces mer mercury that uh, builds up in fatty tissues. So once we consume these types of species, it's not good for our health. The next it's one harmful, is harmful, right? To our health. Harmful. Yeah, harmful. The next one is natural gas. Natural gas also comes from the remains of tiny sea plants and animals that died 300 to 400 millions of years ago. Um, more than 90% of natural gas um, composed of uh, propane and also butane and methane. Uh, natural gas used for the uh, electric uh, sector to generate electricity and also in industrial to um, to process heat. And also natural gas used as a raw material to produce uh, chemicals, hydrogen and fertilizer. The last one is nuclear. Nuclear power comes from a nuclear nucleus of adults. Nucleus of adults. Uh, nuclear plants that we call uranium. Uh, we use this um, nuclear. We use the uranium in nuclear fission to generate electricity. So, what is the advantages of uh, non-renewable energies? What are the advantages of non-renewable energies? The first one because it's less initial capital to install. Mean that uh, while they are already existing, it's easy to use it. Um, so we don't get a high cost to of operations. Second, because it's consistency. Mean that it's um, have a more constant, more than non uh, more than renewable energies. Three extraction and storage. It, it is cheap to they are cheap to extract and also they are easy to storage um, type and cheap to anywhere in the world. The last one because it's reliable and dependable is that um, uh, it is reliable energy unlike uh, renewable energy that not it depends on. If it's gonna run out, it's not gonna be reliable. I mean, you can't rely on it if it's gonna run out. Better, like renewable energy, such as twin, we have to wait for the right time to generate the power. Okay. So the for the at least advantages of non-renewable energies because one the now energy is uncountable. Ah, so if you want to talk about different types of energy, the S goes with the word type. 
So different types of energy, but not different energies. So the next one, because it's not friendly to the environment, as I say, that uh, this type of energy has um, a high level of carbon, so when it's produced greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, it's not uh, good for our planet. Second, because it's not renewable. So it can be, it can take a long time to build up again if it wants a replenish. Three is unsustainable and four, non degradable uh, residue products mean it's polluted, it pollutes the environment as they have a high level of carbon. Five, the body size material. And it stays, the pollution stays for a long time, it does not degrade. Quickly, enough. It degrades very, very slowly. Okay. Other one is civil materials. Uh, it's come to the fear that when somebody may use nuclear power to generate weapons. Ah, this is not your job. Uh, Are you talking about nuclear energy too? Uh, uh, yes. I think you should sort of say we will not talk about nuclear energy because another group will talk about that. Because they would not have anything to say now because you've said it all. You see? That's why. Get it. Ah, very quickly go to it. The last one because it's prone to cause accident. Not renewable energy. Uh, easily to cause accident more than renewable energies. So what is renewable energy? I don't know. Do you agree with that? Why do you say that? The non-renewable energy is more prone to accidents than non-renewable energy. Can you go back to that? Like oil, uh, when it leaks to the sea, mm. easily to uh, kill the sea animal and also... What about nuclear waste? Nuclear energy is not renewable. Mm. Ah, it's not renewable. Ah, oh. so it comes of the elements. But it sort of like lasts very, very, very long. The core. Very good, give him three points and put down his name. Did you copy it? Get his name. Ah, okay, okay. Good argument. So there are six types of renewable energy. <coughs> the thing is, I think that it's like you you don't need that much and it just gives you like amount of energy. Mm. Mm. High you. Okay. Good. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Renewable energy is energy from existing coal or natural resources. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, easily to explain is it can um, reuse these energies again. And there are six types of this uh, type of energy, which is solar or wind hydro. Oh yeah, you still not using the right way to give the reference. You realize that ah, who is he? He Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Then he talked to the people. So I thought, uh, uh, I had to speak Thai twice already, which is very bad. I'm not supposed to do it. So now I got to delete the video, which is. Too much work for me. I have to edit the video. <laughs> it takes a long time because I have to watch the whole three hours to try to find where to cut off. Ah, I told you 
If all these come from this, you have to say up here, according to this one and the comma, and then you continue your sentence with this. Okay? Don't put it right there. What is that? I mean, that's not the right way of doing it. <coughs> Because it's not grammatically correct, but that's okay. <laughs> but that's okay. However, suppose that you don't use your words, what do you do? I wouldn't that high law. Don't burn my compound, and don't go and complain that I don't want to speak Thai in class. Into 
to it. Uh, now, if you don't have the answer, you could ask a friend, who has the answer to his question? See, that's it. And somebody puts his hand up. Hello, hello, hi, hey. Somebody puts up his hand, so you should call his name up and say what you want to say. Yes? Ask him what you want to say. Yes? Yes. What is photon and electron? Can you explain it? <laughs> Yes? 
from the process of conversion into energy. Yes? Uh, how long does the take to pay for itself? Huh? Uh, how, long, how long does Pay for itself. Uh, it's okay. It's essential to construct the first in the first place, right? Yes. It's and then it keeps saving energy, right? Yes. Do you have an idea how long you have to wait until it pays for the construction cost? The the, the money that you save from electricity cost. Oh, 
So please skip that and go to something else. Someone else, please. I want to hear them all else. I can't give them points. Also cheaper than renewable energy. Renewable energy 
but it doesn't release any air pollution or water pollution. Mm. And the soil optimal quality can be found almost everywhere in the world because like they are sun, wind and water. And the soils are not like infinite because they are natural resources. Mm. And this is the percentage that like My name is Patrick Gong and next I will talk about the energy consumption. This is a high graph of the energy consumption in China. As you can see that the most thing that Thai people spend using energy are this, the industrial with a percentage of 37 percent. Foreign by transportation with a percentage of 36 percent. <coughs> then business and household and agriculture with a percentage of 22 percent. So, it is, so next I will talk about the industrial and the transportation, which are the two things that consume a lot of energy. Yeah. Let's start with the transportation. There are three main energy that transportation use, such as petroleum natural gas and electricity. As we know that natural gas is a fossil fuel and also it is fossil fuel too because it's made from coal and oil which is which are fossil fuel. But currently there are some transportation companies that start making uh, electric transportation. But they are just a it's a very little proportion when compared with the transportation company that is particular. China has announced that by uh, 2022, uh, the China will do away with all uh, what do you call it? Cars, automobiles personal use that use uh, that use fossil fuel. They have announced that. But I don't know whether that's really going to be possible. Please go on. Yes, and next is the uh, energy consumption of the industry. Uh, the average of the energy that used for industry will have thirty percent for the natural gas. 26 26% for the other and electricity with a renewable energy with just only 10%. So this means that the number of using renewable energy for the industry is just less than approximately 10%. This is a high graph of the energy consumption of the United States. As we know that the United States is one of the developed countries in the world. So you can see that most of the energy that the United States goes in the Italian United States of 37%, followed by the show that 29, uh, coal, in 14, and that's only 11% for the renewable energy. It means that many countries in the world also use the same thing like this, that uh, use just only few number of the renewable energy. So, according to the fourth slide that I just said, uh, it can conclude that we use just only a few renewable energy when compared with fossil fuel energy. Even fossil fuel energy uh, damaging our world, do you guys have any idea of why we still use it? Why we still use it? One person only? <laughs> we don't have time! No, no, that person, you can talk already. Let's give a chance to the other 
It's not that. It's the cocaine. It's not that. You see it. You never know. Not 
renewables. And cars. You're repeating yourself. So I think you will have to summarize and finish up, please. Summarize and finish up, please. Oh, you have another question? You have another question? Okay, you can ask your question. Is it a good idea to pay more to have less pollution and longer use of resources? No longer use. Oh, pay more to have to have. Nah, to have not to have. My part, my part, my part, my part, my part, my part. To have less pollution and longer use of resources. It's like. Do you have someone who would say it is not a good idea? Okay, one person who can say it's not a good idea. Good idea, I don't want to hear. I want to hear if you think it's not a good idea. Okay, good. Oh, maybe he has it. A possible answer. It's not a good idea right now because it is not possible. Are you right now? Yeah, because that is that life. Oh, I'm looking at the long term thing. I think his question means like. I don't know if Yes, so this is only right now. Continue using. But you know, China, what China is doing, they have a lot of coal. And they don't sell them. Right, so, so that's a question, maybe. The 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 and they have a lot of space. Yeah, but you have a space, but you don't have a price. I don't even think you should just keep it. Our gas, natural gas. Then how do we make our Because eventually natural gases in the world will run out, and then you be the only country with natural gases. Exactly. You know, this is the policy of China. That's why they're not they're not selling coal. They're keeping it in the ground and they're using it. Right. So okay, old argument anyway. Yes. <coughs> One last person. Yes. You want to answer this? I don't think it's a good idea. You don't think it's a good idea because. Like still giving out money, we don't have that enough money to oh. use it as our resources oh. yet. Even though with much pollution, Xin Chok Chai is still going on. I don't think that's it. because oh. that is going on. It is, it is a great proof that Thailand is not in a stable economic situation. Yeah, right. But you know, I think that in in arguing with you, I would say that not only Thailand. That is not in a good economic situation because all the world we have an unstable economic situation due yes. to Brexit and also yes. the thing that's going on between America and China and I North Korea. Know. So <laughs> the thing about Chin Chin China, Chin Chok Chai. We're gonna discuss it when we talk about. Oh, you're not. We're going to discuss it in yeah, I.M. So I'm bringing up a wow. very new topic. We have a topic in it. That's your question. So when you take that course with me next semester, we can discuss it, okay? So I'm like, I'm giving introduction to the new topic. So <laughs> right. But yes, when you get a point, however, you are fine, come on. But uh, you can discuss these things when we talk about uh, political power, political system that is connected to the economy. Good afternoon. Today we will talk about
Mr. and Ms. Patrick Salatun, 620588. <laughs> There are lots of different ways to produce energy. Nuclear power is one of these choices. It is low carbon and reliable. Here's how it works. There's this thing called an atom. These are the basic building blocks of everyday objects. A desk, the air, and even you are made up of atoms. Nuclear energy is the energy stored in the nucleus, or center of an atom. To release this energy, power plants split the middle of these atoms into even smaller parts. When they do this, energy is released as heat. This heat is used to boil water to make steam, like a giant kettle. The steam spins a huge turbine that works a generator. The generator makes electricity. Afterwards, the steam cools down and turns back into water so it can be used again. After the energy is created at a nuclear plant, like this one being built by Horizon Nuclear Power in North Wales, it moves through wires to homes and plugs to the things we use every day. By using nuclear energy as part of our energy mix, we can help create a brighter future for us all to live in.
they also know the atomic bomb. Atomic bomb is a plasma blast destructive and everything wrong. It breaks my using body and for good compared. And fusion weapon is more powerful, more destructive damage. Uh, France, UK, US, Asia, India, China, China is in conducting. the nuclear arms state in the world. Um, the shorter light blue color is the state which the, the NPT, the short form of the, the treaty of non-proliferation uh, treaty, uh, is, which are the US, the UK, uh, Pakistan, China and France. These all will share the nuclear weapon. And the next color is red color. It means other states with not without in the with not in the NPT, which are the uh, which are the India, in India and North Korea, but North Korea is party in the NPT and if it goes on to 2003. The yellow one is the state, the other state person to have the blue weapon, but they it doesn't got to like acknowledge it. Which is Israel. This one is quite small. What is that? Israel. Israel. Yes. And the dark blue color is NATO member sharing the nuclear weapon. Is NATO is short form of the non Allianz Treaty Organization. We will share the nuclear weapon together. Which are which are the the well, Belgium, Italy, Germany, and it's about 29 Atlantic country and European country. And the last one, the green, the green color is they from, yeah, it's from which, this other state, that's like, let's say from which processing the weapon, which are, which, which are the South Africa that can Develop, develop the nuclear weapon and also Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. This is an example of situation that use uh, nuclear weapon is happened on in World War II. Uh, the U.S. detonated the bomb, which is Little Boy and Fat Man. This is the code name of the bomb on the two Japanese city of Hiroshima and Nagasaki on 6 August 1945 and 9 August 1945 respectively. And these two bombing killed a lot of people, around 129,000 person to 226,000 person, almost of the person who they is <coughs> civilian and soldier. And this is the end of the World War II. The effect of the nuclear <coughs> explosion is, uh, is on the climate change. Uh, this is a picture of a nuclear uh, a nuclear winter. Nuclear, what is nuclear winter? Nuclear winter is the severe global global climate cooling cooling effect. The the effect uh, when the when the nuclear explode and it's root it take a root suit of five strong and then it will cover the startle fear which can where can block the direct sunlight. So this light cannot turn the to the startle fear to the surface of the earth and the the earth become become cooling cooler. And this is is lead to be a crop failure and sunny because the plant cannot synthesis and cannot produce the food. Synthesize. Synthesize, I'm oh, sorry. The plant cannot synthesize to produce the food and people will lack of food. And the effect on the human health, we classify into four states, which is, the first one is initial state, it starts from the first week to ninth, ninth week after the explosion. This is the greatest number of who day it's approximately 90% around the area. And the second state is in the intermediate state, which is 
9 to 12 weeks after the explosion. This group, the, who died in this state will cause of in ionizing radiation, which means the radiation of nuclear will damage our tissue. Of you know, our if I, I were you, I would have found a video clip that shows all these, you know, effects on people. That would be more attention grabbing. Because there are a lot of video clips that actually show, uh, say, Japanese that have survived the bombs, okay, here in Hiroshima or Nagasaki. And they're still suffering from this. And, you know, that would be more graphic. And attention grabbing that, you know, just a cartoon saying how to produce nuclear power, right? Okay, because right now, we, we have to imagine what you're describing as a bad effect of a suffering from what you suffer from nuclear bombs. You're just using words, so it's not as drastic, drastic or you know, clear for us. It's not as clear as if you show us some video so that we can see the terrible things that people uh, that have been affected by these nuclear bombs can kind of suffer but what are they actually have to live with? You know? Uh, okay, let's go. Sorry for that. And the third thing is a late period. The late period is we show who will survive from, from the after the explosion. And the fourth one is late period, which we it will cause a long-term effect like cancer or eye contracts. <coughs> what is the what is the application of the nuclear weapon? What are the advantages? What are what are the applications of the nuclear weapon? The first one is is this a deterrent of starting major conflict? For example, the U.S. and Russia have have a lot of nuclear weapon. 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 The US and nuclear have a lot of weapon. And also China, France and Pakistan have a more than 100 weapon. Then weapon. And weapon. what is the result of that? Because they are the world what, what is then the result of that? The fact that they have a lot of weapon, nuclear weapons? Is a deterrent for starting a major conflict. Can you explain more? Maybe your friends still don't know what you're talking about. What do you uh, mean by deterrent? Like, what, uh, what do you mean by that? Like previously, two world war, the World War and the World War Two. This, they, they both of nations have also have nuclear weapon that, and they will negotiate it to each other. World War Two? One and two. The what? World War One and World War Two. World War One and World War Two. So, World War One Two? I don't think we had nuclear bomb then in World War One. Did you say World War One? There. Right. Yes, but the the country have nuclear weapon but they don't use because they negotiate. That's not true. They just finished and be became successful with creating the bombs at towards the end of World War II. They didn't have the technology there in World War I. They used conventional weapons to fight each other in World War I. And that's not deterrent. They didn't negotiate to stop. Oh, come on. You misunderstand. Who can explain it better? How possession of nuclear weapons deter is a deterrent to major conflict. Yes? Microphone, please. Be. If, if, I'm not sure about that, but yeah. I think if, if somehow 
them to have nuclear weapon. Yeah, it means like they have a lot of power than other countries. So like other countries don't want to. How how to get nuclear? Like more. like you know if other country know that you have a nuclear weapon, so they don't want to fight. Oh, they don't have to have a conflict. Uh -huh. yeah. So that nuclear weapon. Is Okay. Anybody has another idea or not? Same idea? Okay. Let me think about it. Okay, please go on. Yes. The second, the second advantages of nuclear weapon is it shapes the power of data of a nation. nation. It's like he say. I think maybe it's like this. Uh, to think about it in another, from another angle. Uh, if we start from the fact that one one country already has developed nuclear weapon, or we see that they are doing it, like during the war, the end of World War Two, they didn't have it yet. They used the Jewish scientists mostly in both countries, like in. Uh, Germany and in the U.S. They are experimenting on it. Now, when U.S. when the U.S. knew that Germany is developing, they started to you know, try to do it as well. So that if both of them have this weapon, then they would not dare to use it. So this is a deterrent effect, right? Where two countries both possess this power, then they believe you might not agree with it, but it's a belief that then they would be afraid to start a war with each other or use it. If one uses it, then surely the other country has it also, right? So they would use it in response. So then nobody would live, no one would be able to live, you know, everybody would die. So I think that's what this means as a deterrent to conflict. You know, but I'm not saying that I agree with it, but that is some, you know, why they are proliferating it right now. Do you any of you believe that? Uh, the U.S. or Russia has stopped developing nuclear weapons. Uh, so everybody believed that they're still doing it. Why? Because why did they believe the other one is still doing it? See? They, they don't trust each other. So if they don't continue doing it, they'll be at a disadvantage. The other country will be more advanced. And then there would be war. And once one country believes that they have an edge over the other country, then they will start a war. Because they think that they will win. Right? See? So uh, that's the reason that they believe that they still have to continue uh, developing their capability with nuclear weapons. I think, yes, please continue. Uh, you can say whether we're going to discuss whether you believe that or not later on. Please go on. Okay. The, the second habitation of nuclear weapon is it changes the power and state of a nation. Now, for example, what? Can North you give Korea. an example? Uh, in North Korea. In North Korea. Good. Why? Why? They, what happens with North Korea? They, can, they have the technology that can develop the nuclear we weapon. Yes. And then what happened? Then the other country was scared. Oh, not 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 actually scared, but they will now pay them more attention. They pay more attention. Yes. And they become a country of substance that you know people would have to uh, not not have nuclear weapon on their country. But no, they would not uh, ignore, ignore yes. North Korea anymore. In the past, North Korea was like ah, some poor country and you know, generally not paid much attention by 
other countries, especially the U.S. Yes. But after they show that they have can develop nuclear yeah. weapons, then now the U.S. will have to you know, try to talk with Kim Jong-un and uh, yeah, all these politics going on because they start to be afraid that uh, North Korea might use the weapon on maybe South Korea or Japan or even they, they can reach the U.S. Yeah. now. See, so uh, this would then, don't you think that this would then make some other countries do the same? Is this a dangerous thing or not? Do you think then that other countries to start to follow North Korea's example? Ah, do you think so? Like Thailand, if you want to be a powerful country, we should start to develop. Microphone, please. He was trying to say something. Yes. Yes, I think uh, uh, Korea often is a very important. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you believe in that? 
You agree with him? No, no, no. You don't agree? There's uh, some issues that might happen. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think we don't, in Thailand we don't have uh, nuclear technician or specialist. We don't? Yeah, we don't have. But why don't we train them? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't think that we have like, enough to be trained? Oh, okay, say it in English, please. Actually, we have Institute of Nuclear Technology in mm -hmm. Thailand, in the Hong Kong. I was with them. Yeah. There. And so we do have people they, capable they of people. In different ways, they also develop a nuclear pathway. Yes. Is safe. safe. Yeah. And we can argue with that, but maybe you could just finish it and then you discuss that problem. Think about it! So that you're ready to discuss this thing. Don't believe what she says or what he says. When you listen to it, oh, ah, it's very good. Is. And then when you hear her, you say, oh, she's so beautiful. I believe her. Yeah. Now, let me see. She might be wrong. Why? He might be wrong or she might be wrong. They are against each other. Anyhow, continue with your presentation first. And we come to his about You are asking questions now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, finish up. Yes. Uh, what, what are the disadvantages of nuclear weapon? The disadvantages of nuclear weapon is it's a non renewable resources. A resource. Mm. Sorry. Um, the nuclear is made from platinum and uranium. Is that means it's not renewable resource. It done don't produce any carbon dioxide. But the effect, accident, the effect, effect of the human health is advanced. Hmm. And it's severe. Severe. Oh, severe. Sorry. It's severe. It's Fossil fuel, but di different, different effect on into the. So you don't believe that we can make it safe? Oh. Having a nuclear plant to produce nuclear power, nuclear energy. Yes, this is saying that whatever we do, or however we try, we can never make it safe. Right? That's what this is saying. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what you're talking about here? <laughs> we provide standard. Okay, go ahead. They, they have added development and maintenance costs. In the US, they spend a lot of money to upgrade, the, the, upgrade and maintain the weapon for around $34.8 billion per year. But the budget office of the U.S. say that it might be little, little over that is because this cost they can use to produce the bill for about $70 billion bill for the poverty, who live in the poverty. It's provide a major terror threat. Uh, do you think if the terrorism, terrorist group, the ter about terrorist group, if yes. they have, what can they do? If they use the nuclear weapon to damage the city or some place? No, they can just go and bomb a nuclear plant. This is what it means. You have a nuclear plant. It's a threat, a terror threat because. If you don't have enough security, then the terrorists can go in and bomb it. That's right, you can plan it that kills thousands of people all around, right? Yes? Um, I thought we were talking about nuclear weapon, not nuclear weapon. No, what? I thought we were talking about nuclear weapon, not nuclear weapon. Are they? Oh, okay. Because you're talking about development and maintenance costs. Why do you have to maintain nuclear weapons? What does that mean? Also, I was sort of 
confused about what you were saying just now. You maintain a weapon? If you go, how? That's expensive, is it? And development and maintenance cost. Yes. Well, anything has a maintenance cost. Please explain more why it's more than other weapons. Energy. Yeah. The fusion can be used only in the nuclear 
this one because it will continue lag. So we can control it, and if you put it into the clear plan, you will generate a lot of energy that you want and it is active. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Right, right now, this we still cannot control. Yeah, right now we cannot That's why we cannot use it yet. Yeah. But you think, you believe yeah, in the future, that we continue with possibly in the future we can then control that process. Yeah. Yes, anyway. Yes, you know, you know. Okay, okay. But then you in the back. Next time, try to sit in the front. <laughs> okay, come on. Yes. <laughs>
clear power plant in Thailand? Yes or no? Who says yes? Yes? Four. You are for it. Why? Right now we have to buy anything from Emma and Lao, so... Uh, that's a good reason, do you know why? Combo, yeah, that's an argument. Are you gonna argue with the guy? What did he say again? I'm supporting him. I'm not... That doesn't mean that I... I, I don't want to Okay, I'm just explaining that what he is arguing is that we are using a lot of energy. If we don't produce our enough electricity and power to use in our country, we have to go and buy this power from our neighboring countries. And these neighboring countries are now going to build nuclear power plants already. So, in the near future, if we don't have our own plants, we're going to just depend on these countries for the energy. We have to buy from them. See, that's why I said we might as well have the nuclear plant ourselves. Yes? Yes. But how will you deal with the people that live near the place that you will build? Uh -huh. So you are saying that it will never ever be possible in Thailand because wherever the government say they're going to build a plant the people will say no, we don't want a plant near us not here so go oh, and build it somewhere else so this is going to happen everywhere wherever the, the government say they're going to put the plant ah, some green peas people yeah, we we'll push the, the, the population there, the villagers over there, to uprise up and say, no, protest, protest. So, is it ever going to be possible? Say, in 20 years, for Thailand to ever have a plan. Ah, what do you think? You hopeful that we're going to have it? Should we have it? I mean, the argument is, Cambodia is going to build it. Which, they're going to build it anyway, right? No? And it's going to be near to those villagers who say, don't put the plan near me. <laughs> you know, Cambodia will build it. And if the plants explode in Cambodia, we're going to suffer it too. We're going to suffer from it. We cannot escape because the effect is very far reaching, you know, if a plant explodes in Cambodia, we, Thailand, everywhere will be affected just like a Cambodian. So why don't we have one? That's the argument, right? No, no? what do you think? Someone please argue with me. Why? Oh, why should we, why should we not? Oh, why should we not have it in Thailand? Yes? First of all, first of all, there is a toxic, which is the uranium. Oh, yes. It's, and it's it toxic. It has an effect on, on the habitat. Like, right. on the ocean land. So, so actually, you know, you're saying, if, say, we have an earthquake, yes. If then the plant might be or something happen. It might crack a little bit. Yes. Then these things can creep out and see out. Yes. And you think it's not worth it? Yes. Yes? Yes, he thought he's been putting his hand up for a long time. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I think in Thailand there's no such as like natural disaster like earth. We don't have it, we do have now. We start to have earthquakes in the north though. Yeah. yeah, but like it's not that like affected like in Japan. There's no really tsunami though. We don't, we didn't have one Dude. about 10 years ago. We had very serious yeah, tsunami in the south. That's a good thing. Thank you. But when you plant, you put, will put the nuclear plant near the sea. Uh, that's, that's because you know, uh, you think that we 
when it explodes, things heat up, then you're near to the city. And you can put it out, or it's better to control it if it's near to the sea. Things heat up, see? Yes. So that's the argument I put against you. You're saying that we don't have natural disasters. That will have a good, good, good argument. He's saying that we should be safe because we don't have serious tsunami or earthquakes that can, you know, make the plant explode or the thing could heat up like in. When was the tsunami last time in Japan? What's the town? What's the town? Thousand eleven or that's a year. I'm asking for the name of the city. No, where there was a tsunami and the nuclear plant. Oh, Fukushima. I thought that you said Hiroshima. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. No, you have it. Come on, argument against this. A strong one that we shouldn't have one. Oh, which one? Let me see. Who oh, first? Yes, and then if you don't do it, you 
tourism income from our rice and rubber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Agricultural products, ah, you sell them and you use tourism. And that will be enough. But you know, in order to produce all this, you need energy, you know. Where do you get it when you run out? We know what? We suggest we do. Come on. And that's what they want to For Thailand, why? Why water is the best choice? <laughs> oh yes, if you offer water, I want the best option you think water. Then give me a reason. Why? Okay. Uh, Yes. Now we have cars that run on batteries. Mm, we have 
Yeah, but like you have to build a big battery for a plane. No, advanced technology. Oh, <laughs> Because you 